Welcome! In this live task, you will learn how to set a template for users' personal community pages using user groups. In the previous live cast, the community we are building upon was given a friendly URL. Take a web browser to http localhost port 8080 slash web slash Victory High School. The login is admin at victoryhighschool.com and the password is test. We will create two user groups, one for students and one for staff. We also don't want users to be able to add and delete portlets from their personal community's public pages, so we will remove this ability using simple code to override the portal.properties file. For this livecast, the terms My Community and Personal Community will be used interchangeably. Using the doc, navigate to the My Community's private pages. To create a user group, click the User Groups tab in the Enterprise Admin Portlet, and then click Add User Group. Name the first group Staff and populate the description. We'll say this group is for all people on staff at Victory High School. Then click Save and add one more user group. This group will be called Students and the description will say, this group is for all students at Victory High School. Then click the actions bar next to the staff group and click manage pages. Here you have the option of creating a page template for the public and private personal community pages of all users who belong to this user group. We'll create one public page and one private page for the staff user group. The public page will be named My Home. Once this is done, click the My Home link in the tree navigation to the left. We'll create a friendly URL for this page called My Home with no spaces. Then click View Pages to add content. It will open up a new browser window. Click the dock and then select Add Application. We'll choose three portlets. The first one will be Calendar, and the last two will be Alerts and Announcements. Once this is done, we'll change the layout to two columns with a 70-30 split. Then go ahead and close the browser, and in the Manage Pages view of the first browser, click the Private Pages tab. We'll add a page named My Content. Once again, click the My Content link in the tree navigation to the left. This page will also have a friendly URL, and that will be My Content with no spaces. Then click View Pages and add two portlets, the first one being Blogs and the second one being Communities. We'll also change the layout of this page to the 50-50 split. Then close the browser and return to the full page. Now that we have created two user groups, we will create a user and assign them to the staff user group. In the Enterprise Admin Portlet, click Add User. The username will be Janitor James, and the email will be jjames at victoryhighschool.com. To make it easy to remember, the first name will be Janitor, and the last name will be James. Click Save, and be sure to change the password to Test. Click Save, and return to Full Page. Now click User Groups. 
and then click the action bar next to the staff user group and select assign members. Click available, select janitor James and then click update associations. Now sign out and then sign back in as jjames at victoryhighschool.com. Remember that the password is test. Because this is the first time we are logging in as Janitor James, scroll to the bottom of the Terms of Use Agreement and click Accept. Then using the dock, navigate to the My Community private pages. Remember from the last livecast when we logged in as the administrator for the first time. There are many portlets on the private page that we deleted. And because we placed Janitor James in the staff user group, his My Community pages were given the templates we created for that user group. Therefore, we don't have to worry about all those default portlets being here. This will also be true for all new users that you place in a user group that has a page template associated with it. Then click the dock and go ahead and sign back out. To prevent users from editing their personal pages, you'll need to insert some simple code in a portal-ext.properties file. We'll allow users to modify their private pages, so we'll only disable the ability to modify their public pages. Navigate to the folder where you installed the Liferay bundle. Then open up the Web Apps folder, and then the Root folder. Then navigate to Web-Int, and then Classes. We'll create a new text document and title it portal-ext.properties. Then open up the document and type layout.user.public.layouts.modifiable equals false on the first line. We'll allow users to modify their private pages, so we'll only disable the ability to modify their public pages. Close the document and be sure to click Save when prompted. This code overwrites what's specified in portal.properties and will prevent users from modifying their pro public personal pages. You must now restart Liferay. Once this is done, go ahead and log back in as Janitor James and then navigate to the My Community private pages. While on the dock, Notice that because we prevented users from modifying their public personal pages, the Manage Pages icon for his public pages is no longer visible to Janitor James, but it is for his private pages. Continue on to the private pages in the My Community site. Once there, click the dock. Notice that while on the My Community private pages, Janitor James still has the Add Application layout template, and manage pages icons. Now navigate to the My Community public pages. Once again, click the dock. Notice that the add application, layout template, and manage pages icons are gone. Go ahead and sign out. In this livecast, you learn how to set a template for a user's personal pages by utilizing user groups. Thanks for listening. Please visit our forums or wiki for more information. You can find these at www.liferay.com in the community section.